Hey, Charlie Gun. If you're in a, well, a financial mess right now, a really bad one, what you're probably thinking about is what you should be doing. Well, should you be watching every Christian television program on every network? Should you be listening to Jim Cramer on CNBC or reading the Wall Street Journal or maybe following the advice of a neighbor who's so broke he can't pick up all the pieces or, or maybe just doing nothing and waiting for everything to pass or to work out? The key to getting out, whatever mess you're in, whether financial or otherwise, and, and regardless of whether it's self-inflicted or not, is so obvious that it's often overlooked or worse, ignored. Here's what the Word of God says. Psalm 34, 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord when? At all times. When do you bless the Lord? Well, the Scripture just doesn't say that you bless the Lord when things are going your way, when you feel like it, when you've been promoted, when everybody's healthy, when you're debt free, when your friends and family are, are safe. The scripture is very clear. We are to praise the Lord at all times. In other words, we need to praise Him when things are good, but we also need to praise Him when things are not. In fact, when they're tough and getting rougher. Psalm 34, 2 and the New Living Translation. I will, I will boast only in the Lord. Let all who are helpless take heart. I will boast only in the Lord. Let all who are helpless take heart. There are two things that work in this verse. First, we need to brag on the Lord. Not anybody else, but we need to brag on Him because He's so worthy of our praise. Psalm 35, 28 says, And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. We are to praise our Heavenly Father night and day, all day long. Now, next, Psalm 34, 2 says, Let all who are helpless take heart. To be helpless means to be without help. If you feel helpless in the situations of life, then you need to be praising our great God, Jehovah, so that He can direct your paths and show you the way that you should go. What do you do in the middle of a storm when, when adversity is, is, is just closing around you and you feel all the pressure when, well, I guess when it feels like everything's going wrong, what do you do? You praise God. The Message Bible translation of Psalm 34, 2 says it this way. I live and breathe God. If things aren't going well, hear this and be happy. The scriptural connotation is very simple. We praise God. Even in the midst of adversity, we praise Him. Praise Him in the morning. Praise Him in the noontime. Praise Him all day long. Where the things are good, where the things are not, the way to turn things around <laughs> is by praising God. You know that verse I read you, Psalm 35, 27. I mean 35, 28. We all know verse 27. Yea, let them shout for joy and be glad to favor our, my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified that has pleasure in the prosperity of His servant. But you see the key to that verse is the next verse. I'm going to read it to you one more time. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all day long. It doesn't say regardless of the circumstances or only in good times. It says all day long. And when we started the day, I will bless the Lord at all times. Hallelujah. Now that's what I call some red stuff.